Now that you have your counter punch indicators on your Thinkorswim platform, you might want to add moving averages. It's very simple. Just right click on your chart and go down to studies and you're going to edit the studies that you have on your chart. Here you can see all the indicators, the uh, counter punch indicators you have on your chart. Come over here to the left side here and we're going to scroll down until we get to moving average exponential. Select it, say add the study, and say add the study again to add a second one. You can see they've appeared over here on the right hand side. They're both a period of nine. So we want to change that. Come over here to this wheel at the end and left click. Here you'll change the length and the color, whatever you want. So we're going to make it a 50. We're going to come down here to this color box and we'll make it yellow and say OK. You could change the, the, the strength or the, the width of the lines there too. So we'll say OK. Now we'll go to the second one here. We've changed this one. You can see it says 50. We'll go to the second one. Come over here and we're going to change this to a 200. Come down here, we'll make this uh, kind of a purple. There's a purple. And say OK. We've now got them on there. They're good. So remember now, let's save this as our default, right? So I'm going to come down here and save as a set. And I've already got it named Counterpunch. Say OK. It already exists. Do I want to replace it? Yes. So this way, Anytime I open up a chart, I can right click and here you see you've got the moving averages on there. So uh, I can load this on any other chart. If I opened up a new chart, let's make, uh, go ahead and go to oil. I'll right click on the chart and I'll go to my studies and down to load a study set and I'll pick counter punch. So get rid of this volume. And you can see I've got all the moving averages. So again, once you make those, add those two, you can then uh, save your study set. That's it. Good trading.